The fact of the matter is your MacBook probably sucks right now and you don't even know why. So let's go ahead and dive in and a big shout out to Shift Browser for sponsoring this video. So you're probably in one of two camps. We got Safari, we got Google Chrome, but you probably don't know about Shift right here. And this is Shift Browser. And this thing is absolutely bonkers because there's just a lot of customization that you can do with Shift. So first off, I wanna to touch on workspaces because this is honestly a better implementation of profiles that you have in either Safari or Chrome. So what I have right here along the side of the screen is I have three different workspaces here and I can easily switch between those by clicking on them. You can see they're even labeled uh, with my different email addresses and so forth that I have on here. Like I have X as one of my workspaces as well, so I can just literally jump to my X feed by clicking on that and be able to just instantly scroll in between anything I have on X here. Now, like I said, back in the top corner here, if I wanna click on, let's say my top Gmail account, um, this is my main Google account and I have my YouTube here. I have a Google search, I have nine to five Mac pulled up and all of these tabs are independent and unique to this specific profile that I have here. So if I want to add to my workspaces here, I can just go down to this little plus sign down here in the bottom corner, click on that, and then I can add a workspace. Now from here, I have several options. Um, I can uh, go ahead and type in like an email address. So let's just type in dom at dom.com. Not a real email address, but whatever. I can choose my email provider. I have Gmail, Microsoft 365, and Outlook. And then I can choose to have my email avatar or I can have an icon. So I can choose from any of these icons um, to kind of stylize it. And I can even give it a specific color if I want to. And then go ahead and create the workspace. And from there, it'll have me sign into the email account. And then it'll just appear up in the top corner here uh, with all these other workspaces that I can switch between. So with the workspaces, like I said, we have independent email addresses tied to each of those, which I think is pretty cool. But what makes it really cool for me anyway, is the fact that I have, like I said, I have my workspaces here with different Gmail accounts. But if I go over here uh, to this top corner, the top right corner, I have access to all the Google services right here. So I can quickly change between Gmail. I have my calendar. I have my Google Drive right there. And those are all basically unique to uh, this specific workspace that I'm in right here. If I switch workspaces and I tap on those little icons up there again, it'll go to the Gmail for that workspace or the calendar for that workspace. So it's pretty cool how it's organized. One thing that is cool though, like I said, you have separate access to all the calendars in the individual workspaces, but there is access to a unified calendar. So it doesn't matter which workspace I'm on. If I go to the top corner up here uh, where all the Google services are at, and if I just hold down on Google Calendar, it'll open up a unified calendar. You can see it says unified calendar up here at the top. So it is literally a unified calendar from any account that you have in your workspaces over here on the side, which I just think is a really cool way to organize things. So you have access to all the individual calendars, but then you also have this unified calendar here. Now on top of that, this browser is Chromium based. So you can add any of your Google extensions that you're familiar with or you love, but there's also some really cool app integration here. There's a whole app library. You can have separate workspaces dedicated to apps. Like I personally have one that's dedicated to the X app. So the home base for that workspace is my X account, which I think is just pretty cool. Now on top of the app integration, which is awesome, and the unified calendar, there are also custom notifications here that we can go into the settings and we can just mute them for 30 minutes right here by default. We also do have notification settings here and we can go in and mute notifications during meetings. Uh, we also do have uh, time limits here that we can set 15, 30 minutes, or one hour. We can also customize notifications on a per level basis like mail, calendar or apps we can turn those off um, we can also schedule hours and minutes and mute notifications based on that schedule it's pretty awesome on top of that you can even get rid of pesky notification badges by right clicking on any of the icons up here at the top and selecting uh, the show app unread badge and it'll go away and we have custom bookmark bars the easiest way I can explain this is that we have separate workspaces here and then I have custom bookmark bars per workspace so the home bar is available across all my workspaces, whereas these uh, custom ones like Dom's Junk or Custom is only available to this specific main Gmail workspace right here. If I switch to another one, I have my own set of custom bookmark bars, which is pretty cool. At the end of the day, yes, Shift is just a browser, but when I say just a browser, like it's, is it literally just a car or just gasoline or just water? Like it's something that we use every single day and it's probably important to 
use the best thing that works for you uh, when it comes to browsing the internet. And uh, honestly, in my personal opinion, I think that the workspaces are a really great way to keep me organized because I manage a lot of different accounts and just to have separate unique spaces for each of those that aren't different windows cluttering up my space is just absolutely perfect. Honestly, I probably haven't even shown you every single feature that's in Shift. If there's an app that has too many features for what you need, it's definitely Shift uh, because there's just levels of customization in this browser that I just didn't expect to see in a web browser, like period. But like I said, it's the internet. It's something that you use every single day, like literally like water for some people. So you do you, but I'm gonna check out Shift a little more and I'd love to know what you think.